The year is 1849, and Alex McKinnon talks about his journey to Canada and his life after he arrived there. Hello, my name is Alex McKinnon. I am from the Isle of Tyree. Tyree is the most western island in the Inner Hebrides of the west coast of Scotland. It was a great place to live and I enjoyed working as a crofter there. The land was really fertile and the weather was good for growing crops. However, the laird, this is the person who I lease my crop from, was a very greedy man and decided to make a lot of money from his land by farming sheep. He evicted me that is, he threw me out and my relatives from our crofts. After a family meeting, it was decided that my brother Thomas and I would emigrate to Canada. We were both fit and strong, and we were both unmarried, so the family thought that going to Canada would provide us with a better future. Thomas and I want to get work as farmers in Canada. Other members of the family already moved to Edinburgh and Glasgow and some other of our relatives have moved to the coast and they harvest kelp or work on fishing boats. We boarded the ship at the western harbour and looked back at our small island. We were full of sadness and hope. Sad to be leaving our friends and family, but hopeful of living a better life in the new world. The journey took a little over 10 weeks. The ship set off on Tuesday, the 12th of June, and arrived at Hamilton, Ontario on the 13th of August. The journey was very uncomfortable. At night, my brother and I shared a wooden berth, which was a flat piece of wood which measured 90 centimetres by 60 centimetres. It was a kind of bunk bed, and it was very cramped and cold at night. The cabins where we slept were very smelly and on every night of the voyage, I dreamt of being back home in my old croft. On the eighth week of our voyage, there was an outbreak of cholera in the ship, and many people died. Unfortunately, my brother Thomas lost his life to this awful illness. Another 25 passengers lost their lives on that journey. When I arrived in Hamilton, Canada, I and the other immigrants were taken to large huts. We were given some basic food and shelter. However, there were not enough huts for everyone, and I gave up my place in the hut so that an old man could have a roof over his head. I feel very much alone here in Canada and it is difficult for me to communicate with other people as I do not speak English very well. Not speaking English well will make it harder for me to find a job. I hope that I can find work and a house and a good place to stay. But every day I still think back of my lovely life in the croft.